Hi guys, welcome back. It's Professor Rankin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write data from an array into a text file and get it back again. So there's two things that you have to remember when you're doing this. The first is that you have to read and write the array one element at a time. Okay. And the second thing is that you have to separate the values in your text file with some form of white space. Let's go ahead and see how we can do this. And this will work with any primitive data type. So it could be characters, could be ints, could be doubles, for example. So we'll start off by making a source array and I'll just use integers for the first example. Okay. And uh, I'll go ahead and explicitly size it using a named constant and we'll just have four elements. Okay. And um, so the size is going to be four. And um, I'll use an initialization list here. So we'll have eight, six, seven, five. Okay. So let's go ahead and create an OF stream object, which I'll just call um, FOUT for file out. Okay. You can name that whatever you want, but that's what I like to call it. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and open our file. Okay. And I'm going to name this um, numbers. Okay. That's going to be a numbers text file. Uh, all right. So we're going to do that and then we'll make sure that we don't forget to close it. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to write each one of these elements to the file one element at a time. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a loop to do it. So I'm going to do something like this. We'll say for int i equals zero, i less than size i plus plus. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, write each of the individual elements of the array to the file one at a time, right? One for each repetition of that loop. And for this first example, I'll just go ahead and separate them with a space character. So this is just me hitting the space bar once. So that's how the uh, stream extraction operator is going to know, you know, where one number begins and the other ends. And then um, we'll test it. Okay. So let's go ahead and fire her up. Okay. So I'm not going to see any output here because I don't have any see out statements. So what we'll do is we'll go um, open up that file. Okay. So you can see this is the contents of my uh, project folder. Okay. So if we go take a look inside of the windows project folder, you'll see that there's the source code file and the text file that got created. So we'll go ahead and we'll open this thing up and um, I'll open it with, uh, with notepad. Okay. And so now you can see there's the eight, the six, the seven, the five, all on one line. Now, of course, if you wanted to uh, open the thing up, you know, if you wanted to test this, you know, by running the uh, executable directly, right, you'd have that run. And then you see that uh, numbers appears right next to the executable. And then you can open that up again with the notepad and uh, check it that way. Okay. So there's the 8675. Okay. So anyway, so that worked. So now let's go and do the reverse. Okay. So what we'll do now is we will open that file for reading and read the data back in and put that into a separate array. Okay. So just for testing purposes, you don't want to read the data back into your source array because if something goes wrong, you will, you wouldn't know because the original values are still in the source array, right? So we'll create an array called dest for destination and um, we'll size it to four elements and we'll just initialize it to all zeros. Okay. And so by doing that, we'll know if something goes wrong, we'll see all zeros when we print out the array after trying to do our read operation. So let's create an IF stream object. And then let's um, open the file. So we'll call it uh, numbers, right? That's the name of the file that we're opening. Numbers. Okay. And then we will uh, go ahead and do our reading. And let's not forget to close it. Okay. So I'll just put that right there right now. Okay. And so then we'll read it in one element at a time. So we're just going to undo what we did before. So let's have another for loop here. I less than size, I plus plus. OK, 
Okay. And then we're just going to read it in one element at a time. Okay. So we'll do a fin and we'll put this into our destination array. Okay. And once that's done, file will be closed here and then we'll print out the contents of our destination array to prove that it worked to ourselves. Okay. I plus plus, uh, C out destination of I, oops. And um, I will put that, I'll put a space in here as well. Okay, and then we'll move the cursor to the next line. Okay, so let's test it. If everything goes well, then what I should see on the screen is eight, six, seven, five, if everything went according to plan. And that's exactly what we see, okay? Because what happened? We took the data that was in the source array, we wrote it to the file, right? Separated by spaces, one element at a time, separated by spaces, closed it, created a destination array that was initialized to zero. We opened the file for reading, and then we read in each element one at a time into the destination array, closed it, and then we printed out the contents of our destination array. So success. Now, as I was saying before, you can do this with any primitive data type, right? So, you know, let's try characters, for example. All right, so we'll, instead of doing integers 8675, we'll do um, characters. Okay, so we'll do H, uh, A, N, uh, K. Okay, and this time for white space, I will put stuff on a new line, just to show you can do stuff different. We'll name this, um, cares.txt just to show you again that you can do something different cares.txt and these are character arrays so we're going to change this to care okay and then um i'll go ahead and uh yeah you know what i'll keep i'll, I'll still print out the the uh the destination array on the same line with spaces in between right um because once the data is back in this array right? It's in the array. So how I choose to then manipulate that data once it's back in the array is up to me. I don't have to print it out on separate lines, even though cares.txt is going to have everything on separate lines. Okay. So there you can see you've got the Hank. So we have uh, success. Let me show you the contents of that um, file cares.txt. Okay, so there you can see that we've got our new file right there, cares.txt. I'm going to open that up, and you can see that the letters are on uh, separate lines this time. So you have options on how you want to do this. You just have to read and write the elements one at a time, and you have to make sure that you separate the data in the text file with some form of white space, either new lines or um, spaces or tabs. Okay, so that's going to bring this video to a close. If you're a student of mine, you have questions about any of the topics that were covered in this video, feel free to drop me an email, stop by my office hours, or hit me up on Zoom online. For the rest of you, if you thought the video was useful, please consider giving a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked, you got the thumbs down button as well. Consider supporting the channel in various ways. You can subscribe, you can join as a member with additional perks for as little as 99 cents. Leave a comment, whatever. But most of all, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.